Hello friends and welcome to Techie Check. In our previous video we have installed certificates on our exchange server and now in this video we are going to create a DAG for our exchange environment. And the primary purpose of the DAG is to establish a high availability for the databases included in the DAG. So let's see how we can create this. So right now we are on a server and let's see this is a DC and if someone is joining from here uh, for those users I just want to tell them once again this is a DC and we have a three virtual machine inside DC that is a client EX01 that is a mailbox server and LB this is not used uh, right now so the uptime for this machine is like 15 days and another server 2 is joined with a DC01 as in a domain and we have a two uh, machine here like edge server and EX02 as a, another mailbox server and they are up since 8 days so let's go and uh, go to our exchange admin panel and let's see so I have uh, three users like three recipients here and if you talk about the uh, databases like on which databases they lies if I go to the Jack properties and if you see in which database does the Jack lies in so go to the more option and you can see the mailbox database name is MBDB1 so and our Tom user lies inside the database MBDB2 so they both are on a different mailbox database if you talk about our server we have three server S server EX01 and EX02 and EX1 EX2 are both the mailbox server and let me go to the database we have a three database this one was a default database created by the exchange I just renamed it but uh, this is a dis dismounted and I'm going to delete it later on but right now we have a two working database like MBDB1 you can see the content state is healthy and MBDB2 content state is healthy so our Jack user lies inside MBDB1 and our Tom user lies inside MBDB2 and both these databases are on a different server like MBDB1 is inside Exchange01 uh, if I say exchange 01 that means EX01 server this is the name uh, name of a server and our Tom user lies inside MBDB2 that is inside our exchange 02 like EX02 to make it simple I just reduce it with the two recipients and simple with two database so that it can be easy to understand and I want to tell you like if for example right now in this scenario if exchange 01 like it, it goes down or it fails this server fails like EX01 that means our Jack user will not be able to log on to his mailbox uh, though the uh, our Tom user will see uh, his mailbox because the EX02 is live and the vice versa like if uh, uh, this uh, our Tom user lies inside MBDB2 and if this server EX02 goes down or it fails that means our Tom user will not be able to see his uh, mailbox data uh, though our Jack will be able to see so the DAG plays a role here like uh, what DAG do we can create a DAG for these two databases so that if in case any one of server get fails still our both user can log on to their mailboxes so in order to create a DAG first we have to create a file witness server which will maintain a quorum so let's go over Active Directory users and computer and you can just check this advanced like if this is not checked you can just click on advanced feature and go to the computers container and create a new computer and name it as a DAG01 
so now the DAG01 is created and you have to give a permission like in a security you should go in a security and you have to add an exchange trusted subsystem and allow a full control to it like if you can see exchange trusted subsystem is not allowed as a full control you can just give it a full control and click on apply click on OK and also allow a full control to a exchange 01 like EX01 if we can go to security again and you see the computer account we don't have here so you can just click on add and from here we can just select the computer click on OK and we can find out EX01 this is our exchange server and I want to give it a full permission for this computer so I will just allow as a full permission click on apply and click on OK and now once this is done you can just disable this computer you can just disable this account so it is now disabled and also one more thing if you go to the uh, Microsoft Exchange Security Group you will see the Exchange Trusted Subsystem and you have to add here the members should be like you have to add the administrator here click on OK so now the requirement for our Vita server is completed and now let's go to our exchange admin center and here in the database availability group we will just create a new DAG the DAG name will be DAG01 and the witness server will be like my DC that is DC-01 and the witness directory will be like C C drive this C drive is inside a DC-01 that means in my DC computer C backslash file witness server like F W S and name DAG01 and I want to give this one uh, IP like I'll give it uh, 40 no problem I'll add this IP and click on save so now we can just refresh it and our DAG01 is now created and now here we can go to the manage DAG membership and here we can add our server like uh, we have two server one is exchange 1 that is added now another is exchange 02 that is also added and click on OK and click on save so it's validating the parameters right now it's forming the cluster now you can see it's adding server ex 01 to database availability group DAG01 this may take up to 45 seconds now the operation has been completed successfully so we have added our two server in our DAG if you go and see the property we have uh, uh, here we have a, a witness directory and our database availability group members are EX01 and EX02 that means we have successfully added our both the server like EX02 and EX01 in a DAG so now we have to create a mailbox database copy in a DAG so we can go to the database and MBDB1 right now it's inside EX01 we can go and add this add database copy and we have to add this uh, database copy to EX02 so now the remaining one is EX02 and I'll click on OK and click on save now it's adding my copy of MBDB1 
to ex01 that means my copy of a mbdb1 database will be replicated with on a other server like ex02 it's seeding mbdb1 and the operation completed successfully if I close this you can see the mbdb1 lies inside server with copies like ex01 and ex02 and the same way I will put this mbdb2 right now it's on ex02 don't get confused here and you can just ignore this one don't see this one just we are talking about these two so now our mbdb1 the active copy on a server ex01 and we have a copy on both the server for this database we have this on our both server like ex01 and ex02 and same way with this database I will add these copy to the DAG and we can just click on add database copy and this lies inside ex02 so we have to put this on ex01 so let me browse and click on ex01 and click on save seeding the copy now you have completed the operation successfully now we can close it and you can see the copy if we click on this you can see the content index state is healthy and right now it's failed so we have to wait for some time and let's see if right now it has failed so we have to wait for some time because it, it might take several minutes and up to several hours depending on the size of the database so I have some emails inside these database so it may take some time and if you want to see and check you can just go to the exchange let me go to the exchange 01 and let's see the replication status like test replication health and if you want to check the status of the mailbox you can just get mailbox database copy status we can see this content state uh, like content index state is failed for our mbdb2 on our exchange server 1 so the status is healthy but the content state content index state is failed so we can wait for some time uh, let the replication take place so now running the command once again you can see here the status was failed this this is a dismounted copy which I ignored so you can see this one like mbdb2 was failed earlier and after few minutes like after five minutes like you can see the 1207 and 126 after this the copy the content index state get healthy and earlier it was failed so our mbdb1 is mounted on exchange 01 like ex01 and content index state is healthy and our mbdb2 you can see the state healthy and the content state is also also healthy so let's go to our exchange server 2 and run the same command there So let me type again get mailbox data database copy status so the spelling is not correct it's A here And you can see our mb2db2 is mounted on our ex02 here you can see content state is healthy and our mbdb1 has a copy on our ex02 
and the status is healthy and the content index state is healthy so by this way we can create a DAG and let's try to pause one server and let's see if we are able to log in with both the users or not right now our both the servers are uh, running like ex02 and ex01 and let me try to log in with Tom and we are able to sign in let's log in with the Jack so our both the servers are uh, working and we are able to log in so now let's do one thing uh, I'll pause one server and we will see uh, if we are able to log in or not this is ex01 and I will pause this and our server 2 is running and let's see if we are able to log in with both user or not now you can see uh, I'm trying to log in with the jack user and let me try to sign in right now I just open it with a computer name and we can see we are able to log in with the jack and though the jack user lies earlier it was an exchange 01 inside the mbdb1 database and this is paused and still we are able to log in with the jack user and let me try to log in with the tom as well and we are also able to log in with the tom so right now both the user are able to see their mailbox and let me try to open and do an email to a jack let's see if we are able to send the mail so the mail has been sent now and let me try to log out and check if Jack receives the mail or not see here from the Tom we have received the email so the server is down but still we are able to work with our emails so now I'm going to resume this I hope you found the video informative if you like the video please subscribe the channel and if in case you have any confusion you can comment me I hope I'll reply on a time and let's meet in the next video